Hey guys, I want to show you really quick what I do. This is a maintenance that I've been doing roughly every three weeks, four weeks. Uh, it's just to try to keep the pad as clean as possible and not have accumulation of dry ink on it. So what I have here is, first of all, I have this little syringe with a hole, so the little tube that they provide. And I have a mix of two parts of 75% or 70% alcohol, I believe it is, some 90%, and distilled water. So the main idea, I have two parts and four parts, four, two parts of alcohol, four parts of the distilled water, and you just mix it in a little cup, something like this. I'm using my resin cups to measure. Um, and what I'm doing is, let me show you, let me flip the camera here and I can show you really quick. So here it is what I'm doing. So I took the cap off the waist and I put it on here. And when I feel something there, you see here coming. So I'm just cleaning the whole pad. So I put a little bit of this solution and then circle with this. So I turn on the printer. Once the printer was on, I move the print head to one side and now I'm just adding the solution here. Just a little bit of solution. I wanna show you, I wanna to try to do one-handed here. If I can just put this in place and not make a mess. So you just wanna put this just a little bit here. You don't need to flood it too much. So, Let's put this a little bit, just a little more, maybe like this now, just a little more, there it is, so there it is, so you see there, it's just a little bit, you don't need to spill a lot of fluid into the printer, just a little, let it sit for a couple seconds, and you see here there's a, like a little white marks or whatever after that we will wipe everything so i'm gonna pull you down for one second okay now i have my two hands so once i do this your waste ink just pull this back out right and then pour everything here then you put this back on and you slowly you don't need to be rushing this just start pulling the fluid again from the pad so this take it out you're gonna put it in here then again rinse and repeat you wanna try to take everything out of that thing of course the pump will do it for you after you know but that's the process that I'm going through right now. See, and you start taking everything out. This is just to ensure I have a little rack in case I keep doing the spills. So this is with alcohol, it cleans really easy. It's not big of a mess. You wanna make sure that you clean this until you have the best possible uh, waste. Like it's not really dark. So at least that's the way that I've been cleaning it and it's been working perfectly fine. Okay, I'm gonna I, I kind of hook the camera there to show you. So here is what I'm doing. So just, just fill that all the way in. And when you suck from the end of the waste tube with the other one, that's what's happened. And that's how you are cleaning 
the pad to make sure that it's not holding any dry ink in the way. Let's add a little bit more. So now it's coming uh, light gray. This was super dark. And this is for one week of being printing. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to clean that blade. So that might be a little bit easier. In my case, I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol with this water. I'm going to try to knock, knock the camera out. And I'm just going to gently pass on the blade to make sure that it's not dragging debris back. Look at this. So, <clears throat> the main... So the main idea is to try to keep the print head as free of debris, dry ink, and every other contaminant uh, free. I mean, you just wanna make sure that you clean everything. The, the blade, you don't need to be too rough on it, just wipe it softly, because that's the last part that is going to have contact with, this is the second pass is the last part that is going to have contact with the print head. So you want to make sure that none of these components that are working with your print head are totally soaked on ink. So just wipe around it, be careful, uh, don't rush it, take your time. And that's, that's all you have to do, try to keep up your printer. We try to do this once we have like a large order uh, and we were printing and printing and printing we come and do a couple cycles in the morning every morning I turn it on and I run sometimes one clean cycle and print something which is full color and white or sometimes we don't run the cycle we just turn it on let it cycle for about 30 minutes or so and then print something with a lot of white just to make sure that everything is working fine so these ones don't throw it you recycle and they are pretty handy mark the one that has all the ink inside because you don't want to have that you can wash it it's really simple and always try to empty and i like to wash my reservoir so i see where it is exactly but make sure that you never overflow your dtf printer with nothing so that's, that's an advice that I can tell you. You have a lot of problems with that. So the waste ink was black. Now it's coming like a light gray, almost white. And if I keep doing it multiple times, eventually it will turn almost into a translucent fluid, which is part of keeping everything clean and in optimal condition. So there you guys have it. I hope this helps to keep your DTF printer nice and clean. See ya.